you know what time it is. It is time for episode three of Concept Recovery. Sorry I was gone for so long, guys. I promise I'll upload more frequently in the future. I have been busy with holiday stuff and just life in general. Uh, I didn't have any cat OCs that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, I do have a few more that I will get to in future episodes, but not... So, uh, this is my, I don't know whether she was my first ever Wings of Fire character, or like OC, but she is, like, up there. This is Eclipse, and she is, uh, a Rainwing Nightwing, because she was made when I was, like, 12, and an incredibly edgy child. <laughs> um... She was cool. I, I I am still rather fond of her. She was she she was fun. Was she a Mary Sue? I I don't know. We'll talk about her. Eclipse was a Nightwing Rainwing hybrid who didn't have any family because of Rainwing culture, and was hatched by the Rain in the Rainwing uh, tribe. She doesn't know either of her parents and didn't have any siblings, and I believe she was hatched on during an eclipse and that it plays into an important part of her story and it also explains her name uh i could be wrong but i'm choosing to believe that <laughs> that's the that's why uh, it might have just been i don't know so eclipse uh in her original story was an assassin so eclipse was an assassin who uh because she had a special power from being hatched on during an eclipse and it it, it 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 wasn't terribly consistent but her power was pretty much to like inflict her emotions or influence other dragons emotions uh so like she could make a dragon feel whatever she was feeling or a different emotion or she would make herself feel an emotion and then make another dragon feel that, and that was like what her power was. And it was useful in for her job because, you know, she's a Nightwing, Rainwing, so she has like the Venom, which is already a good weapon, but she also has that power which allows her to... It's not really mind control, but it definitely is beneficial that you, when she could make a dragon completely calm or... Uh, just influence their emotions in some other way. So she was the uh, she, she was like the assassin for some group of dragons that never got fleshed out in her original story. Um, but she was like their assassin. If someone needed to die, she was probably the person you were going to send. And she worked as an assassin because like she didn't fit in with either tribe. She wasn't. She, she wasn't Nightwing enough to be with the Nightwings, and she wasn't uh, Rainwing enough to be with the Rainwings. She was, like, your total normal, like, edgy, oh no, everyone hates me, so I'm gonna <laughs> commit a lot of murder <laughs> character. And, um... Yeah... Her, so her scales don't change color, uh, or not, not all of them, like the black, she's just always that dark gray black color, uh, but the, like, dots on her neck and on her, uh, and, and like, the line of scales uh, between her, the top of her and her underbelly, uh, those change color depending on her mood, and her fan is, like, it, it was part of her ability i believe is like she could kind of hypnotize her hypnosis and the mind and emotion affecting was like she'd flare open her uh her frill and it would like change colors and spiral and be like all pretty and then uh depending on her mood it would change its colors and then the dragon that she was influencing would uh <laughs> would be influenced into that emotion. Uh, as a person, she was, or as a dragon, I suppose, she was kind of 
Uh, I don't know. She was like mean. That was her main character trait. She was just an ass. Just all the time to everyone. She was one of those, it, it, one of those traditional like, oh, she's mean to everyone, but it's because she was like hurt as a child and she's uh, secretly good if you give her a chance type characters. And, uh, I don't know. I think this is my first time drawing dragons on this channel. Woo. I, I plan to do more. Her story was very complicated, and I need to... Maybe I'll do... Uh, would there be interest if I redesigned some of the other characters from her story? Because uh, I think that could be fun. Also, you can tell that I... Uh, didn't have the <laughs> original re uh, an original reference image of her because it's just a doodle from a bad comic I made of her once. Um, but she, I, I did end up finding her reference image, so I will put that on the screen at the end. I don't know. I think she's neat. I really like her new design. I think that she's really pretty, and I might use her for something. I do love Wings of Fire. I just don't use it very often and like 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 I don't make my own season time. Which is a shame because I, I really should. Uh but pretty much her story was like yeah she was kind of an ass to everyone. She was super rude uh because she was an assassin and like jaded and she never got along with anyone because she didn't need to. Her job was killing people, not being met and not making friends. Uh and at one point she's sent to kill a sea wing prince which I'll probably, like, revamp this part of her story. But she's sent to kill a sea wing prince uh, who, uh, unbeknownst to him, is an animus. And during her attack, her attack of him, he, like, accidentally discovers that he's an animus by, like, ordering her to get off of him. And she, like, goes flying off uh, dramatically. <laughs> uh... And, and then they become friends, and then she knocks him out with a rock, uh, because she's like, ooh, I shouldn't kill you. The people I work for might think that having an animus is interesting, like, they might want you. And then they kind of, like, become friends, I guess. Uh, I don't know, they were, she was fun because she was just, like, horribly edgy, but... Also, a fun character to just talk about and think about because she had a fun design and personality. I, I don't know, I feel like you don't see characters that are just complete assholes. Actually, no, you definitely do because she's a jaded orphan. She's like every wolf girl that everyone ever had, like, as their first SC. <laughs> she definitely has the, like, very cute, not cute, but, like, very nostalgic, uh, First OC was a hybrid vibes, and I don't mind that. <laughs> she, she's like obviously a character that I made when I was a child, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think that she's very silly and very goofy. She didn't have a ton of stories. She was like involved in a larger Wings of Fire plot, but or, you know, like, OC plot, but she never really... She was only ever involved with that one scene in Prince, from what I can remember. So yeah, that's, uh, that, that's my girl Eclipse. I, I love her very dearly. She's... She holds a very dear place in my heart, even if she was kind of cringe in, uh... Say it. It's fine. I forgive myself, uh, like nine year old me. The speed paint is coming to an end though, which very soon, which means that uh, the episode is almost over. Uh, sorry if the microphone quality was bad. I don't have a microphone stand, so I just kind of hold it. Also, I had to cut in and out a few times due to various things. But, okay, so here is the original design. Uh, you really notice that she hasn't changed a ton. Uh, because her old design wasn't very bad. Uh, I don't like the eye color, though. I think the eye color is gross. Ew. 
Uh, but she really just hasn't changed that much if you look at her side by side with the new one, which is coming up in just a moment. Uh, sorry for the low quality. I will do better on the next one. Uh, as soon as I figure out which story I want to do the next episode on. Uh, but I hope to see you all then, and here's the new guy. Uh, I think that the improvement is pretty good. Uh, but really most of the improvement is just in minor design tweaks, uh, and, like, anatomy. <laughs> She's pretty much the same dragon. Alright, um, everyone have a great day, and uh, keep drawing, probably.